Oh yeah, remember this? Fry Life, welcome back to Edinburgh. You can always try mushy peas. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is, I want to prove this, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, Boston time, and they're serving breakfast on the flight, so I'm having some coffee. And let's see what they have for breakfast drinks. Strawberry yogurt, blueberry muffin, and some granola. Got my coffee. Jet lag. This is rough. <laughs> I slept for like an hour and a half, which I didn't expect to sleep that long. So I guess that's good. I'm not quite sure what the best way to do this overnight flight is, but. Probably when I get in, well I don't get into Edinburgh until like almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon there time. I'll probably get back to our flat at like late afternoon, 2.30, maybe 3. And I'll probably take a nap for like maybe 3 hours and then get up. I don't know, but it's time to get on the right time zone. just arrived in London and I'm headed to my gate to catch my flight to Edinburgh. It was a good flight. Slept for like an hour and a half and then got some work done on my presentation that's in two days. Well I made it through security and connections and everything and now I just have to wait. I looked on the board to see what time my or what gate my flight's at and it says I have to wait till 10 30 just like an hour to find out what, where the gate is. And this is where you eat if you want to eat under toasted marshmallows. So, that's that. Guys, I made it. <laughs> I am wiped out. I'm like so tired, my body's aching. But, look, it's our flat. And our Christmas tree. And the Kinder Egg calendar. And, oh well, look, we got our landlord put in a new kitchen floor while we were gone. That was nice. And, yeah, so, I'm going to get some rest. But first, I'm going to FaceTime Mary, see how she's doing. And, sweet friend picked me up from the airport, and that was good. Um, I, I don't even know what we talked about, because I'm like a zombie, but... This is so unreal. It was the kind of unreal, like driving through the streets. It was like, oh, this, this is, this was home, I, I think. Yeah, it, it's crazy. So, see you guys later. Hey guys, it's morning and I'm getting PT. Hey guys, I am just editing the vlog before I go to sleep, but I wanted to show you. It is. Typical Edinburgh weather. Remember this thing? Um, yeah, it's sunny and snowing. Can you see that? Did it just stop? It's almost like hail, but it's light and snowy. Like, kind of crazy. Oh, look, they're doing construction on the school next door. Interesting. Oh, wow. So weird. So weird to be here without Mary. I mean, this was our life for six months. We... This is pretty cool though. I came in here and was getting settled in. Our friends got us some groceries, so I was putting those away. And then I came over to the couch. And this is just how we left it. 
three months ago was Mary did her palmazyme that morning before we went to the airport. She read Psalm 57. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. And that's been a reminder for us that, like, we came to Scotland, we had to go back to the States, and in the midst of it, God is fulfilling his purpose, and sometimes we just don't know what that purpose is. We don't know how he's using, we thought we were going to be in Scotland for this whole year, but here we are, now I'm here, and Mary's in the hospital, and it's just... We don't always see God's plan, but in the midst of the craziness and the unexpected, we can count on God to fulfill his purpose for us, and we're thankful for that. And we, in some ways, we really see these vlogs that have come out of this journey to Scotland and back, and this start of our lives on camera as part of God's purpose for us and and sharing our story with all of you so it's cool it's really cool and it was just cool to come back to this place um, with that reminder lying there on the couch all right couple things first um, just talked to my doctors and we're all good on the same plan and we're checking my Tober levels again because it got a little weird. So we'll get that under control. And then <clears throat> also look at the sky. That's pretty. So yeah, that's the that's my morning so far. Enjoying the sunshine and doctors. Okay. I wonder what Peter's doing. I think he's in Edinburgh. I think he's taking a nap, but I don't know. But you guys do because you are watching his vlog too. Well, I had a good nap and I feel less of a zombie. Although I started getting tired. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a shower and go out. I need to refill our electric and gas and probably I need to get some work done. I meet with my supervisor tomorrow about my presentation that's on Thursday, so I need to work on that. So I'm going to go find a spot to sit down and get some work done. I'm going to upload the vlog. I edited it. Edited. I can't say that word. I edited. Edited it. I edited the vlog before I took a nap. And now, this is a funny story though. So I don't know if you guys, those of you who've been here for the long haul. Remember me saying that one of the things I missed about America was deodorant. And then, because I use this Red Spice, Red Spice, Old Spice, it used to be called Red Zone, now it's called Sweat Defense. Anyways, I use that. They don't, like, all the deodorant here is this kind. It's, um, the spray bottle. And I, like, aerosol can, which, no thank you. Cold aerosol on my armpits is not pleasant. So I forgot that that's what they use here. And I took a shower, getting ready to go out, grabbed that. I thought it was hairspray, so I sprayed it in my hair. So my hair is very fragrant right now. Fail. Oh yeah, remember this? Fry life. Welcome back to Edinburgh. Well, I'm back at the flat. I went to the library right up the street and did some work and the weirdest thing happened. So I'm sitting there working and the library is closing at 10 and it was like 9.40 and so I start packing my stuff up. I've been writing so I was trying to finish up a paragraph I was writing. And there's this older gentleman who was working in the library. I think he was locking up and that sort of thing. He walks by me and goes, you doing all right? And it's like, he's got this thick Scottish accent. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm doing okay. And he goes, you managing everything? And it's like the end of the semester for students who have classes. And 
there's a lot going on and I've got a lot going on trying to get a lot of work done and I've got this presentation to get ready for and all this stuff and he goes you know what's important keeping the faith and I say yeah that, that is the most important and and he's got this thick Scottish accent. I could hardly understand him. And we got talking. He asked where I was from and all this stuff. And then he said, so what are you planning to be when you're done with school? I said, I'm planning to be a pastor. He goes, oh, okay. He said, I'm not a Christian, but I got some Christian friends. And he goes, I see you're married. And uh, he saw my ring on my finger. And... I said, yeah, I am. He's like, I can see it in you that you love your wife. And I'm like, this is my first day oh, across the world away from my wife. And he doesn't know that. And he completely didn't know anything about me. And I think the Lord used that to encourage me. Um, so, thank you. I don't even know what your name was at the library up the street. <laughs> Thanks for that encouragement. So I am not sure what my sleep is going to do. I'm going to try to sit down here and get some more work done. I think I can probably go to bed at like a normal time, probably like midnight here. I've got a couple hours. It's like 10 now. So... Maybe, I, I think, I'm, t I'm still tired. I only slept for like three hours this afternoon. So, we'll see. Maybe if I go to bed at like midnight tonight, I can get back on, skip on Edinburgh time tomorrow. We'll see. Guess who I'm hanging out with? Peter! Whoop whoop! Hey guys, welcome to the Fry Life! Okay, look. I don't know if you can see this. We're together! Don't, don't, da 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 da. Oh, you have Ollie with you. He's just so cute. He is pretty cute. I, I realized that a lot of our viewers joined us after we came back from Scotland. That's crazy. I know, but a lot, most of them caught up. So, why don't you do a little Q&A real quick? Why are you in Scotland? We came to Scotland in August because I received a grant to do research here at the University of Edinburgh. And it is an amazing opportunity to study something I love, and it's helping prepare me for ministry and planning to be a pastor. And so the goal is for me to try to get enough work done in this month that I'm here in Scotland to be able to go back to the States with Mary and finish my dissertation and the rest of my degree from there. So that's the goal. That's why I'm here. I'm going to be working hard, doing a lot of writing, and it's sad to be away from Mary, but hopefully we can get this done. And also, he's closing out our apartment, which we had in Scotland for since August, or since the end of August. And he'll close that out, you know, pack up all our stuff and all that, and do a bunch of writing, and then come back to America to be with me. So, okay guys, so some of you know and have already done this, but we have a Facebook page. We just opened up a Facebook page. And we are actually doing a giveaway over there right now, so if you are interested in entering for the giveaway, go visit our Facebook page and leave a comment on the giveaway page. You'll see it when you get there. And make sure you like the Facebook page. And the leave contest a comment. is going to end the giveaway is going to end once we reach 1,000 likes. So the sooner we can get to 1,000 likes, the sooner you can win a painting. We're going to give away my original painting of Don't Forget to Laugh Every Day, which is up there in my hospital room waiting to fly over to wherever the winner is. Okay, let's try saying goodnight together. Okay. Well, we'll, well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good night.